Okay, so I just wanted to demonstrate how to use the spiralizer and also give you a recipe or a meal inspiration idea. This is how mine came out. It was so good. So to start, this is what the spiralizer looks like. Um, it has like a cylindrical shape and two sides because you can make two sizes. And here is half a zucchini already spiralized. So you don't have to cut your vegetables. I just did to make it easier for me to hold it. And as you can see, you don't have to peel it either. And you just place it in whichever side um, you wish and turn it as if you are sharpening a pencil. It is so easy. You don't have to use a lot of pressure. Um, this is a closer look of how the vegetable, I don't know if you call it noodles or strings. There we go. That works. <laughs> comes out. And once you get to the end of your vegetable, once it starts to get a little harder for you to turn it, that's how you know that you're done. And then you just kind of pull it out and that is what the uh, vegetable will look like. So here's after I finished an entire zucchini. Um, one thing I suggest is to go ahead and use either kitchen shears or a knife to cut it because your vegetables will be one long string. And now for the recipe idea, I went ahead and sauteed up some garlic in olive oil. Then I added in the zucchini and squash. And here you can see I have to actually like break or tear um, half of the noodles because I didn't cut them. So that's why I mentioned that tip a little earlier. And then you just kind of saute it until it takes about three to four minutes to get um, warm and, and, and done but not completely soft or soggy. Um, so I like mine with a little teeny bit of crunch to it. Then I added in some uh, cut up cherry tomatoes. And I seasoned it with lemon pepper. And then just continued to saute it. And let me tell you, it came out so good. Okay, so it only takes about three to four minutes to get the noodles soft and done, but not mushy. If you are interested in more details um, and specifics about the recipe, including nutritional value, check out my blog post. The link will be down in the description box. And this is the final product. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and stay blessed.